Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you guys how we can separate a column into two columns. Uh, in my example, I have a table has uh, a names that's it has a full name. So what I want to do is to separate that column into two columns, which is the first and last name. Here I have the last name and here the, the first name. Both they are in one column. I would like to separate them into first name and last name. And this is my destination. I will move the column right here and I will separate, separate it into uh, two, last name and first name using SIS. First of all, I will write down here a code using a system function in order to uh, separate this, these names. Uh, we have to test it here in SQL, then we can move to SIS to, uh, you know, like using the drive column in order to uh, separate it there. Here, I will say substring open the parentheses, it will ask me about the, uh, the expression, which the name column. And here will, uh, the one is a static for me, the position. And for the length, it's car index, car index. And I want to see where the symbol is. You know, I'm looking for the symbol. So the car index is will find for me the symbol from the name column and minus one as last name. Why minus one? Because it will start all over from the from the first letter all the way to the symbol, but I don't want the symbol to include my last name. So minus one, it will backward one letter. So this one it will be my last name and comma for the first name subset string my expression its name and my start position it will be the car index car index sorry car index and the same thing, I'm looking for the comma and name. Here where I will start from the comma all the way to the end of the name, but I don't want to include the comma, so I will step forward one letter. So I will say plus one comma lean, which is the length of the of the uh, name as first name. Mm. Incorrect syntax near the name. Is he talking about this name? Name still this is in line to substring comma substring name car index car index oh I forgot to put a comma here sorry. Now I have this first and last name here, the full name for me. So I'll come here in SIS. What I'm going to do is I will go to create the connection uh, manager for the source and for the destination. My destination is this is employee sheet. And in data flow, I have the source here, which is the table will be, <coughs> excuse me, 
employee tables. Here are the employee tables. I don't want all the columns. Only I'm interested for the name column. And here in a draft column, the same as I did here in a SQL, I will did it in uh, in SIS, but instead the car index I will use uh, finding index. So first of all, let me name it, name it last name, and my expression will be. The substring looking for it is right here. Let me just make it here. Expand it. So let's make sure make spaces between the commas so you can simply drag and drop your columns or uh, symbols and don't make any mistake. And here where our star one and the length will be the car index, the finding index, excuse me, here, and here where I will put the name, and my symbol will be here. I'm looking for the comma, and keep this one. The occurrence is one. One thing I would like to show you guys here, like minus one. Here, I would like to add another comma. Why? In case that's if the last name, if it's like looping to looking for, you know, the commas in order to pull the last name. In case if I have no last name, uh, sorry, if I have no comma. So this one is, is, is going to throw an error, you know. So especially if you have like, you know, thousands or million of records. So what I need is I'm going to like adding comma, like if I have spaces here, I'm in the state of I'm getting an error, I will add in comma, and then I will split my uh, last name based on that comma. What I'm going to do is here, simply plus comma. That's it. So for the first name, first name, I will gonna do the same as here. So you guys hear the one that I use it, it's right here. It's exactly the same. But I keep rewriting for you guys to make it easy for you to follow me. Here the substring. Give spaces here. So I don't want to delete anything. Here the name and here where the start will be the finding index. It's the same as this one. So simply just like copy and paste it here. But here you want to say plus one. The lean will be here and the name will be here. So let me see if everything goes well. And my uh, data flow here where I want to see the destination Excel file and I will choose the first sheet I would like the name it's with a full name the last name here with the last name and the first name with the first name and let's execute it Let's see, hope everything is right. And let's watch, it's loading. It's right here. So see guys, it's keep, it's keep loading. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the full name. Uh, the last name is right here. And this is the first the first name and see guys how this is simplet. Uh, I will going uh, to uh, add the both uh, 
uh, codes in my uh, uh, description so you can guys use it, use it uh, either in a SQL or in SIS I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, watching my video and see you for next videos thank you